Let me give you a metaphor that I always like to use for this. I hope our viewers have seen a movie, I think about 10 years ago it was popular, V for Vendetta. I will not go into the story, the point is that at the end there is a revolution in England, some imagined England, the crowd breaks the, through the police barrier, penetrates the British Parliament, the people take over, and, 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 and... Okay, guys, people took over. What would they have done a day later? How would they reorganize the power? And so on, and so on, and so on. What could they have done? Give me, except from this, empty phrases of we need more true democracy, people's voice should be heard. What does this mean? This is nonsense. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. I would like to see, I would sell my mother into slavery, to see a movie called V for Vendetta Part 2. In this logic of disposable life, we have to break out, we have to accept life in its meaninglessness, in pleasures which serve nothing, and so on and so on. Because the paradox is that if you take away from human life things which serve nothing, then the remainder, what remains may be purely functional, but it really serves nothing and everything collapses. And so on, and so on, and so on. Without such a tiny exchange of friendly obscenity, you don't have a real contact with another. It remains this cold respect and so on, you know. We need this. We, we need this to establish a real contact. This is what is lacking for me in political correctness. And then you end up with men. Sorry, seriously. Uh, can I give you some fucking fruit juice? Of I'd course? love some fucking yeah. fruit juice. Yeah, 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 yeah.